Okay, boys, how's it going? You're probably not used to seeing this type of content, especially on my channel. It's a new for me, but don't worry if you subscribe for gaming content, it is still coming. We're just going to have D&D every single Saturday. So there's something for you at least every week. Yes, I'll be regularly uploading now. This will be the guaranteed one video a week. And if you get time, then I'll upload some gaming stuff. You'll see, chances are you'll see a lot of Tiny Tina stuff soon. But we're playing D&D, Dungeons & Dragons 5e. If you don't know what D&D is or you're brand new to it, you're going to have a lot of fun with us. We ourselves have just started learning. Uh, we gave ourselves about a week before we recorded this video. So there will be some errors that I make that my mates make. And there will still be errors within the weeks coming. But we've recorded a couple weeks in advance. And I can tell you now, oh my God, is it worth the wait? I'm telling you now, just strap in, like, just trust me, it's going to be sick. Also, on the other end, if you are a veteran at D&D, you can laugh at us and please tell me things we did wrong and things we did right and stuff like that. I really hope you guys have half as much fun as what me and my mates have had recording this and finally uploading it for you guys to watch. Before we jump into it though, once again, comment any suggestions that you see that I've done wrong or right or stuff you want to see. Also, we haven't got a name. If you're watching this a couple of episodes in advance, there'll probably be a name in the title down there already. But if there's not, comment on the video. What do you want us to call this? It may be a progressive thing in a couple of episodes time. We might come up with a name and then I'll just change all the videos to it. Or if you guys want to see a specific name or you have a funny, quirky name or something like that, then let me know. One last thing before we jump into it. In this episode, only three people are playing. Same with the next episode, episode two, there will only be three of the five people. And then the episode three, there will be five people. We've recorded one session in advance, like I said. So any any suggestions, any criticisms of like that, we will still see just one episode ahead. But we are really excited to show you this and not only... Have I put effort in? But as you can see from the thumbnails and when you'll see people actually playing, we are quite nervous and we do get into it a lot more and more. Especially in the next couple of episodes, we get really kind of strapped into it and we feel our roles a lot better. So trust me, it's worth it. Stick with it. And the stuff that the characters do in this series infuriate me as a dm but also make me proud that they're actually destroying my campaign i love it that's another thing that you guys do comment what you would do in their situation we do have two artists in the group as well terence who's playing terrico and fran who's playing florian so if you guys want anything from them anything commissioned go down the links below and send them a message i'm sure they can sort out commissioning a piece for you same with me all of my socials and links are in the description as well make sure you like comment subscribe anything else to say no i hope you enjoy Silverstone is your traditional underdeveloped village, dirty, muddy, grey. Whatever the dullest colours you can think of, that is what Silverstone is. One of the main things you can see and one of the main representations of Silverstone, what gives it promise and gives it some development in the future is this beautiful white quartz chapel placed on the highest hill of Silverstone. As it's a coastal region, there's not much of a port, but there is a little one nothing really happens there and an odd boat comes in as a fisherman or as a farmer bringing in trade from another continent but it's not a naval dock i guess the main thing like i said that, that that draws this whole town together is that chapel on the top on the top of the hill there's blacksmiths markets houses but it is more of a uh, more of a it's not a commercial place it is more of a residential village the main place we're going to set is this this first moment is in the tavern now the tavern is quite clearly labelled in a in a nice rugged, but trying to be gold, more of a bronze uh, taper around the, the the lettering of the lucky inn. The lucky inn is where the, the 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 only inn of this whole town or homestead, I guess, is. The folk around the, this this tavern uh, drink. They drink because what other pastime do they have? There's not much entertainment, but they're just drinking. The tavern is normally somewhat decently full at all hours of the day. Traditionally, you find the tavern packed at X amount of time in the, when it goes dark at the night time. But this tavern is always, always bustling. It's never empty and it's never packed, but it's always people in there. You're placed at the furthest corner of the tavern, the bottom left um, table accompanied with a couple of uh, a, lot, a couple of chairs now 
all the chairs are empty around you, but you can kind of see across your across across the room. You can see it's a nice wooden trying to be taken care of, but <laughs> not really. Uh, tavern. You can see there's there's still stains where where the 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 mead and the and the and the beer and the drink have spilled everywhere. Um, you can clearly see the halfling barkeep behind the bar is trying to do everything herself. You can't see any other staff. All the bookshelves that kind of align the wall have cobwebs from your from from your shoulder uh, from your head upwards. Uh, no, I would say about six foot up and everything above that cobwebs. The top two shelves of the of the bookshelves also have cobwebs on there. The books look a mo lot more pristine up there, and and six foot and below are very tattered and beaten up. You can see somebody walk in the door as the dorm slams open. Tyler, explain your character, please, mate. This is you. You're at the front door. Explain my character. Yeah, yeah. So Alex has just seen you. Describe your character for, for, for Tony and Thrawn. There is a six foot tall, dark skinned elf with bright white hair covered in a green furry cloak with his hood up. Cool. And Alex, do you want to describe your character for Tyler and and and, and yeah. Yeah, no, so in the corner you see a uh, amongst all of the, the normal patrons, you see a kind of off looking dwarf sitting in the corner. He has uh, kind of short for a dwarf. Uh, he's uh, but he's sitting down, so you can't really tell that at this point. But you, it just this stature doesn't seem quite right. Um, he has very dark uh, brown hair. Um, kind of looks like he hasn't really washed it or really de dealt with it in a while. Um, and he's, the weirdest thing about him is his skin just looks a little mottled. So it's kind of like a, a grey color. Like it looks kind of like a pink, but like you know when you describe someone as oh they feel sick, so you see that the kind of color washes out of their face. It's almost like he's slowly turning grey. Um, he's wearing just like tan, um, like the, the classic kind of tan um, leather outfit with like some look slightly padded, but it's all a little worn. Like he's got like a cloak kind of thing over the front that's kind of ripped up a little bit. And then down the side of him is like an old dented shield. And then really weirdly, um, on the other side is a, a really ornate mace just kind of sitting against the table, but looks really... Whereas the, everything else about him is kind of thrown about and just looks disheveled, his mace is very clean, pristine, shiny, and it's almost like glinting in the, the candlelight of the, the tavern or the window light of the tavern. Perfect. Um, Tyler, this kind of this is where I throw 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 actions over to you. You've just come into the door. Um, go for it, man. You've just come in. Then I walk over to the bar maid at the bar and order the strongest drink she has. <laughs> um, the barmaid turns to you and goes, "Hey, it, you look you look down on your luck." Um, I'm Alfreda, by the way. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Uh, as she as she as she turns around, she has this kind of a a barren a barren drinking shelf behind her. Most of the drink's gone, and all she has is what's on tap. She turns back to you and she goes, "Are you are you sure you want the strongest drink?" It's been a rough couple of weeks. Well, it's gonna cost you. So she she can't. She she goes. It's gonna cost you. She turns around. She pulls out this little Seth stool. She's a halfling. She pulls out this little Seth stool and she starts clumbering up it. At the very top shelf, she pulls off this this almost green vial, looking like acid vial, looking kind of tankered. She pulls it down and she starts wiping it off. She gives it a blow as dust kind of emits across where you're standing and your other two patrons to the left and right of you. She comes down, she pops it on the side, pulls out this glass that is obviously never been cleaned before. She pops the cork and you hear a and she starts pouring it into this glass. Not even a dribble has gone into it, and you, it's, a, it's more of a slime-like consistency as it drips and it plops into this glass. It just fills, it just coats the bottom, not even a mouthful worth. She then pops the cork back on, puts it underneath, and she goes, "That'll be free gold, please." Oh, say it again. Fuck off! What is the rest of it? <laughs> 
<laughs> she goes, no, dude, that, that's... She, she turns to you and she, she's shocked. She's shocked. The other patrons look to the left and look at this kind halfling, Alfreda. They, they look at her and they go, why is this guy doing this? Alfreda turns to you and goes, you what? <laughs> she calls you bent. She grabs, the, she grabs the, the glass and she tosses it on the ground. She goes, that's it. You're done. She turns around, she grabs some bit, some ale, she pours out a tankard and slams it in front of you. Anger and disgust on her face. She's sweating from the brow. Alfreda then turns to you and goes, that'll be five gold, that'll be five silver. I walk away with the drink. She takes it and she puts it in her pocket as deep as she can. <laughs> um, at this moment, you see the door once again slam open. You don't. At this moment, you once again, <laughs> you do. You see the door slam open as a patron walk as a patron walks through, and as the door starts closing, you see this tiny little bundle that you can both make out slowly walk into, kind of walk in behind him. Jack, do you want to explain your character to everyone? Yeah, Tony. So the character, his name's Tony. He's born from a puppeteer in a village nearby called Bunyala. tell your history, he's... by the way, just how you look. No? Yes. Just that's how I look. Yes. He's, he's literally, literally orange. how you look, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's entirely, tiny orange, completely made out of silk, just wearing a pale white, just just like a just like a top, a uh, little burnt tie of sorts, and really rugged jeans. Ever so slightly, he's hovering just above the floor because he cannot be asked to use his feet. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> I say, see, seeing this um, as this is such a weird sight, Thron would stand up kind of violently. Like you can tell that he's definitely had a couple of drinks. He'd slam his knee into the, the table and be like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> as as you do this, a patron over the bar looks across to you and sees you kind of hop down off your chair and and i can't see you behind behind the the nose of the table as he kind of he's peeking over trying to find you but just ignores his business and just carries on drinking with his lads as a moment passes one of the patrons comes over to this weird looking puppet thing on the ground and and starts messing around with him you can interrupt me anytime by the way jack whenever you want okay he starts messing around with him just who is this guy? Uh, what is it? Like, what is it? As he grab, as he picks you off at the scruff of your neck, and he just starts playing with you. He looks over at oh, the so other. I playing with you. Oh, Tony's had fucking enough. He's slapped you in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> he gets. He. You take this. He takes his mighty little pat on his knee, and he just starts laughing. The other two patrons that he's showing off to just start laughing as well. He's got you by the scruff of the neck, and he just throws you on his table. He just throws you on his table. All all three of the patrons are just laughing at this point. They, they, they're, they're trying to make... They're making fun of you. They, they, they've they never seen something like this before. Kind of like a kid's toy they're laughing at. Well, Tony, while he's laying down on the table, he slowly hovers back up onto the table. They realise he's hovering. How the hell is he hovering? Only a couple of centimetres across the table. As you can, as, 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 as you start to hover a couple of centimetres up, a couple of inches up, the, the patrons around just, just get spooked and, 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 and push you off the table. Um, I don't know if to do checks or not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if to do a check yet or not. How tall? Is, how tall are you, Jack? T's two foot two. Yeah, give us a dex check. Come on, first roll of the game. Give us a dex check. Do a what? A so if you go on to on D and D Beyond on your character sheet, um, yeah. underneath your character, that you've got like strength dex. If you just click the number oh. underneath dex, it will roll for you. Let's see how fast we can kill Jack, eh? Ah. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. That's fine. You just you just hit the ground. You start. You you kind of you readjust yourself, and and as the as the three patrons kind of uh, a little bit more spooked now, they kind of back up from the table and start making their way over to the bar. Two two of them start making their way over to the bar. One of the main one one of the people that that weren't making fun of you but part of the group just kind of stay slumped down and just just uh, over their own cause. Well, then Tony decides to engage in a staring contest. <laughs> 
So the patron <laughs> looks up and all he sees are these two little beady button eyes staring into his stole and he just he shakes it off and, and tries and makes it as as least obvious as he can trying to stare away but every time just looking back over to you and you're still staring at him into his eyes no um, he won't look away <laughs> Tyler, just, where just, just for um sorry just for yeah. like kind of i think it's like like in this and the whole thing's going on thrown is just on the table like this like eyes wide just staring about what with what's going on like <laughs> just enthralled by what's going on that's perfect. Uh, Tyler, whereabouts are you with all this? Still at the bar, drinking my drinks. Perfect, that's fine. Um, that's great. Do you just want to do anything? Cause I, like, just jump in. This is, this is, I don't want to like keep opening up to you. Just jump in whenever you want to. Oh, oh, I'll first... turn, to... oh. so turn to the bar, keep, order one more drink, mm. tip her five silver, and then take the tankard I've got and throw it at the guy's head, who's bullying Tony. <laughs> okay, so Al- 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 Alfreda pours you another drink of your tankard and slams it onto the table. She takes the silver and you you tip to f- another five silver. Yeah. By the way, can you manage your inventory? So you need to take all this out of your inventory, okay? Yeah, yeah. If you need to change up, you can. So she, you give her five silver for the drink, and then all of a sudden your hand comes through and you pl- place another five silver as a, as an empty as an empty tankard flies across the room. From Tony, you see this. You see it almost in slow motion. You see this tankard spinning with more and more and more and more momentum before it hits this drunk guy straight on the head as he just hits the ground, collapses, nothing, empty. His two patrons <laughs> look side to side. They shrug their shoulders and just carry on drinking like it was another day at the bar. Alfreda looks up at you and she goes, you know you're going to have to pay for this, right? <laughs> as, as the tankard is well, Tony broken. decides to go fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, Alfreda hears this little, this little snippet from outside the, out of the corner of the room. And, back off. <laughs> you, she looks across and she, she kind of... <laughs> She kind of shrugs it off a little bit, like she doesn't know what's going on. She looks across at the patrons. She she's she's determined to get her money. She turns to you, Tyler, and goes, "What's your name? I can't remember your name." Rowan. Rowan. She turns to Rowan and goes, "You're paying for that mug. I don't care how much you tip me. You're paying for that mug." So she pulls out a hand and she and she's holding her hand up for for two silver. Two silver. That'd be nice. And she looks at you with this weird cow. She then walks across to the other patrons and starts pouring them drinks. This guy's unconscious now. Jesus Christ. I did not realise <laughs> that would be. I did roll for it, by the way. I don't know if you saw. I did roll for it. And y- you smacked him straight in the forehead. I did uh, a dex check. Yeah. Yeah, we can't see your rolls. So. To be fair, I should have done a... I should have done a... That's fine. We'll sort it out. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be able to see your rolls anyway. So it works. Yeah, no. I should have done a thingy check. Uh, a hit. For, for, for Tyler, but yeah, roll for it. Yeah, roll for attack. It's fine. No one. It's up to you. If, if it's a simple throw, then it doesn't really matter. Um, are you doing anything at the moment? Another moment passes. Oh, Don's now got his feet up on the desk. He's lot. He's cackling in the corner, like just drink drinking a big tankard. <laughs> Looks like way too big for him. Tony decides to just hop on over to the books, blows all the dust off of them, just to be curious. Just to see what the book's all about. Um, roll me a little investigation. I'm saying them on the floor. Give us a little investigation check, mate. Exactly. Oh, and well, nat, a nat twenty. 20. <laughs> well done, Jack. You've got the first nat. <laughs> first nat twenty, 20 already. Serious. Jesus. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, the first row of shelves that you're looking at, kind of, they they kind of light out to you. You see multiple books. One is a a beautiful crusted royal purple. It, almost. No, who's on the floor? You. <laughs> <laughs> he throws it across the floor. It it hits. Yeah. It hits the the bottom of. Uh, uh, do you say you threw it across the floor? Yeah, you threw it across the floor. You threw it across the floor. You threw it to your right hand side, and it hits the bottom of Fron's chair. Just the just the leg. The next one, you, you, the next one you see because this you can see him perfectly. The next one you see is a is a is a is a dirty green, a very dirty green with a brown stain across the whole middle with the front page is basically completely graffitied, kind of like a library book that you would see in school that's been mm. 
just s's and and penises everywhere across the front cover <laughs> that's the that's the whole tony laughs at the funny comedic penis jokes <laughs> gives it a sniff throws it on the floor <laughs> you don't even read the titles throws it on the floor <laughs> why, why did i write these books down <laughs> next one she next one you next one you see is a is a is a mahogany red and and the title reads all about wood oh it's... yeah that's something tony would be interested in definitely do you want to take it or like are you what are you doing oh we'll, we'll give it a read why not tony's okay. interested in a bit of wood see okay uh, I'm, I'm not gonna make that joke as you as you turn to the first page the index it has every single type of wood you can imagine a going expanding from from the last continent the, the last continent known continent to now you can see ages of years and decades and centuries of woods and how woods aged. You can also see preparation of wood, wood cutting. You can see um, how it's cured. You can see how you can see um, carpentry. This book is, don't get me wrong, it's about eight inches bit wide. It is the biggest book on the bookshelf. It has everything known about wood, just wood in general yeah wood <laughs> i don't know are you um, carrying yeah go on i don't know where to go from this um <laughs> uh, just just quickly side note he, he, um, he picks it up stands on the table <laughs> sits down and gives it a read uh just quick side note do you guys know uh what natural 20s and natural ones are yeah 20s are that's when you critical hit and then one is like a disaster Cool. Yeah, just double checking. Um, we okay, are home brewing it, by the way. If you do get a nat one, you're you have a chance of hurting yourself or teammates. In in that in D and D, you don't do it. If you get a nat twenty, it's not something that's impossibly going to happen, but something that's very improbable. I'll make it up on the spot, right? So in this situation, Tony just knows everything on 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 the uh, on the shelf. He, he can just he looks at it. He goes, "Yep, cool." It, he, there's enough. It's enough cleanliness. He knows everything about what is on the shelf. What did you specifically say? wood specifically wood what did you say <laughs> you crumble up on the on the stair and you put it down on the on the on the desk yeah you crumble up onto one of the chairs slam it down on the table not to dust a piss because the table's really dirty what opens it and starts giving it read what table is this is this on front's table or the patron's table uh let's say front's table front's table so you crumble over yeah so Tony climbs up, clumbers up on this little chair, not so much using his legs, just his arms as he lifts himself mm. up and he adjusts himself on his chair. A big slam goes down on the table that kind of, that he's very strong to hold this book. Even, even, even Fron is, you can kind of see, uh, Al, you can kind of see that this is a, this is a heavy book. It slams on the table and you can, it kind of vibrates it. As he slam opens it up, he can see he can read start reading the index. He's he's not even a foot away from you. He's across the table. Um, so th uh, seeing this and seeing him intently, th Thrum will like really like loudly and kind of deliberately looking around at all the other patrons. He'll on his chair just slide his chair along, and you know when you like you you've got a really squeaky floor. It's just going. Urgh. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets right round and he sees the page obviously the patrons are i assume are getting annoyed and looking at here and i'm just making loads of noise and just watching them all as i get right up next to tony i'm like what are you speaks no words looks up from his book staring contest <laughs> <laughs> okay so you um, lock eyes with each other <laughs> And as soon as as soon as Thron locks eyes with this, uh, obviously this incredible sight he's seen, he just bursts out laughing. He can't handle himself. He is just laughing his, on this chair to a point that he's like leaning back and just just literally cannot fathom what he's seeing. Looks up. Tony totally decides to look up or continues looking at Thron even more widely gazed. And he says, "The fuck are you laughing?" <laughs> <laughs> the goes, you're a puppet. <laughs> he goes, of all the things I thought I'd see today, I didn't think I'd see a puppet walk into a building. <laughs> He's... While this is going on in the background, you can see by the bar, one of the patrons come across, um, come across and he starts 
oh that was scary and he starts dragging out the the, the patron that's that's still knocked down unconscious with this tankard broken around him he basically grabs him by the arms and starts dragging him outside the door <laughs> <laughs> okay well while this is going on uh thron will wrap the puppet on the back and kind of slightly slurred be like do you drink laddie and then obviously it's a bit strange because he's the, you'll notice Thorne doesn't have an accent, but he likes to just every now and again his accent will change, and you'll see this through the thing. And it's it's kind of it's it's a little jarring to when new people do it, but he'll just he'll do weird stuff like this. So Jack, do you drink, laddie? Um, nah, Tony. Tony, he doesn't want to drink, even though Thorne's disappeared. He's walked off. He's still staring <laughs> where he was. It's just it's just like this. It's, it's, it's not looking away. It's less interested in the book about wood. Now it's looking at the wall. Okay. So, wait. So, what are you doing? So, you, Alex, uh, so, Franz just tapped you on the back. and, and Yeah, he's, I've just literally, yeah, just yeah. Wrapped, wraps him on the back and I'm like, do you want a drink? Yeah, yeah he wraps him oh. on the back as Franz walking over to Tony to go and tap him on the back. Tony looks at, like, look at him like this. Franz goes back to his chair and he's still looking this way. Completely <laughs> wide open. Like, 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 he's still there, but he's not there. So you completely errant. <laughs> yeah. Tom just goes, ah, fair enough, and then uh, gets up, leaves all his stuff where he was, and literally, you can tell he just doesn't, he doesn't care. Just gets up, but the one, and then as he's kind of walking away, he, he, you can see, he like, goes, oh, and then runs, runs back, grabs his mace, attaches it to his side, and then walks up to the bar. Um, do, you, do you want to move your character? By the way, you, oh, can, can I move everyone? Yeah, yeah. So I'll move up to the bar. Literally, right next to obviously this this tall elf that he's seen, and now he's looking up at the tall elf, and he's like, "You're a tall one." Not being at work. <laughs> <laughs> The whole time this has been going on, Rowan has been fixated on Tony. <laughs> Suddenly, he hears a dwarf and looks down. Do you think I'm I'm like four seven? So you're like six foot tall. So what is it with this tavern? The half thing behind the bar, this puppet over here, and now this midget. Where are the normal sized people? After after hearing that, Fron just again just bursts out laughing. He just he's just having the best day. Tony still hasn't moved a muscle. He's still looking at the wall. So Alfreda then then climbs back on her step stool and, and looks looks at you fr- from across the board, Fron. Um. Well, okay. While while she's on the step stool, Thron will look look at Rowan, like tap him on the chest and go, "Watch this. This is this is this will be funny." And then um, he casts Thaumaturgy oh. <laughs> um, behind. <laughs> uh, sorry, what's her name? Uh, Alfreda. Um, yeah, he casts Thaumaturgy. So it's uh, 30 foot range, so I'm more than. I think it's only voice component. Um, and he'll just go, boo! <laughs> and then it echoes out really loudly. For her, but it just keeps going. <laughs> so Alfreda, so you cast it directly behind her. So she yeah, directly behind her, and she and she jumps out as kid. She climbs onto the she climbs onto the desk and she spins around, and she looks behind her. Then the the, the the kind of voice starts echoing behind her. She follows this like sound wave as she turns around, and she looks into the corner, shaking, and, and just fixates on the puppet again. And she looks at Tony dead, and she she kind of six. Expect something from him. She then starts laughing, climbs down, and then you can see she's trying to laugh through the pain. She's looking around, really scared, but she's laughing through the pain. She she doesn't know what's just happened. Um, she's shaking so- as she's pouring another pint for the patrons. <laughs> she puts it back on the desk as the foam and the head is rinsing out and kind of seeping into the cracks of the of this meticulously made bar. She's back onto her store and she's shaking away. <laughs> so from while he's absolutely just dying laughing, he, he cancels the, uh, the stops the the booming voice because <laughs> I told you. <laughs> she's she's in the in, all the ensuing chaos. Tony still doesn't battle an eyelid. Decides to look down, keeps reading about wood. 
<laughs> whole time Tony's been in, I've been watching him, realizing he's some sort of magical being and he's not natural. Am I doing an investigation check? Because I'm so, being a sorcerer and knowing magic so well. Um, just trying to figure out what he is. You can do an... So you're, ju you're looking at him from the bar, right? Yeah. You can do an... Uh, you can do a perception check. All right. Because you're not close enough to do anything, really. It would be Arcana, wouldn't it? What, what are you checking? You checking for his magic? Or oh, you yeah. This what depends what you're trying to yeah. figure out. Oh, magic. Okay, what yeah. What he is. Ma magical side, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah do, do, do a uh, Arcana check then. Okay, it's an eight. eight. Um, there's nothing that really, that, that really p puts off uh, like gives off uh, there's nothing that you can think of that you know of uh, as as like you said uh, as you are that you can see of him being magical the only the only main thing you can see other than what everyone else can really see is he's he's dragging his feet across the ground he's not walking he's not using his feet he's using his arms he's using mm. his torso he's kind of flapping his head around but when he's walking around he's not prodding he's dragging his feet across the wood he's, he's going along dragging the himself up this. <laughs> that's all you really see there's there's nothing that you can recollect that is very magical other than potentially you know he's pr pr like propelling his body and ignoring his legs that's pretty much it yeah tony doesn't see the use in legs why <laughs> if he can float what's the point in using legs um yeah so, by the way, Al's been blanked twice. Let's just let, like this. This dwarf is is first of all ask Tony if he wants a drink, and then come over. <laughs> oh, the, the, the Thron! You can tell it just finds himself hilarious. He doesn't care that what these other people are thinking. Like you, you can tell he's had a few. He's just have, he's just enjoying himself. <laughs> and then um, while this is all going on, he's literally even he was just talking to Ryan for a sec. Now he's over with the two patrons and he's showing them a card trick. <laughs> Okay. Uh, where are you? In between? Have you moved yourself? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I'm. I'm like in between. I've just barged yeah. in between them, and I'm like, "Hey, lads, lads, look, look, watch this, watch this." And then I'm just showing them a card trick, just like a simple, funny trick. Okay. So they. they um, okay. So they, they look down. Let me let me do a roll. Um, so they look down as as you kind of bustle yourself around, and you um, you you lay this deck of cards, I guess. Deck of yes. cards onto, yeah, it's, onto the onto the bar. Uh, yeah, it was one of my things in my uh, starter pack, I think. So, so you, you kind of you, you kind of sprawl yourself in. You you let them know that, that you're going to show them a trick. You lay this pack of cards and you spread it out. One of one of the patrons in there is this ghoulish orc, but kind of looks kind of deformed. Like he he doesn't look like a like a like a dench orc. He he's 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 tattered. He he's got no scars. He's got no war wound. He's he's a tattered wearing just about just about the bare minimum of clothing clothing he looks down at you with his tusks kind of hanging out of his mouth one of them broken off with this with this slimy green substance just drooling down his mouth and the other and the other tusk is basically orange it's this it's this yellow you can see that he doesn't take care of himself he looks down he looks at his other patron which is a fairly regular um human uh, looks across and just and just shrugs his shoulders as well. They're both locked <laughs> in on this on this card trick. There's nothing else that they care about in the world but this card trick. Do you perform anything specific or you just do a card trick? Uh, yeah, just do a card trick. Okay. Do you want like uh, a sleight of hand or something? Yes, please. Uh, While he's performing this card trick, can I pickpocket the uh, patrons? Yes. Get back a bit of money. Give me two seconds because <laughs> they're just about to do another one. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, give us a slide, slide van. Uh huh. Uh, thirteen. Okay, so one of the one of the patrons on the right hand side, just look look at you look at your card trick in absolute bemusement, and he's just staring. He's he's willingly <laughs> just staring through the through his cards as you shuffle your hands around. The 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 orc. As he as he go he goes over he, he starts grunting and he 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 kind of goes he goes I've seen this trick before. Tyler, what what are you doing? Uh, I want to try and pickpocket them while they're distracted by <laughs> okay. the, the card trick. Give us a stealth stealth check. 
five. Slight of hand. Uh, five, stealth check. So the orc turns around. He's he's absolutely... He, the, the human still staring at this back of cards. There's nothing breaking his lock. The orc turns around and just just pushes pushes your chest he puts his hand on your chest and just pushes you away and he looks back at the cards <laughs> tony's given up in reading books he's he's fed up of reading about wood he's boring now puts the book on the table he goes over to the orc touches him on the back of the leg and says hello uh <laughs> where, where, which which one the orc's on the left hand side so you're here see so yes he, he, left hand right yeah i should change touches, it. he goes on the back of the leg he looks up at him and like oh yeah so, so this orc right now is surrounded by a by a dwarf, an elf, and a, and what looks like a puppet on the ground. He feels this little little tiny knock, a little scratch at his ankle, at his, at his back of his at his back of his knee. He turns around, looks down, he starts shaking his knee as if you start. It's like a dog start like shagging your leg or something. He starts shaking his leg, <laughs> trying to like get you off. He he looks down at you and he goes piss off, and he looks back at this card trick again. Just focusing back on the card. <laughs> He's aware of what's happening. You tell me to piss off, Tony just has to wrap himself around his leg. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. He's so... such an angry puppet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a strength check, please. Oh, yeah. 19. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you ra- you're a strong puppet, bro. As he looks down, you start wrapping your legs around his around his kneecaps and you kind of you pull inwards. The, the orc just, he's, he's, he doesn't know what's happening. He just tips backwards and he lands straight on his back as he just passes. Um, he just passes uh, Rowan. He looks down, Rowan, you can see him just slam next to him. The orc is just dazed. He's, he's still conscious. He's looking around, but he's dazed. You can see this puppet still glued to the bottom of his legs as he drops down. <laughs> the human, the other patron, still staring at this pack of cards. No matter if you're moving it, if you're playing it, <laughs> he got a natural one. He's staring. <laughs> he's staring at this pack of cards. He doesn't know what's going on. This orc slams down. And he, he's, he's grunting. He's grunting, but he's just on the ground. And then after after a moment passes, he just starts laughing again. He starts laughing. He, he taps you on the head. He pats you on the head. Probably too strong. Probably too hard. But he's he's an orc. So right now, Tony is he's wrapped his legs still around this orc. Uh, Alex, your uh, Fron is, is your leg is comfortable. <laughs> Fron is performing a magic tr- uh, magic trick, and um, Rowan is standing behind them. Um, yeah, so he's on the ground now. He's he's not unconscious. He's still awake. He's still looking around. He starts laughing. He starts patting Tony on the head. Back off. <laughs> he looks at you kind of a little bit scared for a second and then just carries on laughing he 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 starts clumbering up are you still holding on to his legs yeah he won't let go his legs rather comfortable so he's trying to stand up tony is not that heavy he's made of wool so he's trying to stand up and he just grabs your head he pulls you to the side so you're just holding on to one his his uh, left leg he pulls you to the side you're just putting on and he just stands directly up he looks at the park keep he goes alfreda get me a pint for this guy <laughs> he gra- <laughs> she grabs this tanker and she starts pouring in the sloppiest thing you can see and slams it on the desk the orc grabs it and puts it down on the floor by your side tony he goes drink this drink this it's as big as me. What do you want me to do with it? <laughs> so, uh, Al- Alfreda just pokes her head over the bar. She pops out this silver spoon. Kind of, you can see it's made of decent material. She doesn't really pull it out often. She pulls it out. She just pops it. She just gives it to York. The York then just hands it down and pops it inside the beer, uh, inside the tankard. So right now you've got this tankard <laughs> standing next to you with this with this silver spoon just inserting itself inside, protruding out the top, available for you to kind of scoop it in if you want to this tank is bigger than me what the fuck do you want me to do with it <laughs> so he decides to clumber on top of the tanker gets inside and soaks it up like a sponge <laughs> you're about you're 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 like i'm sorry the tank is not that you're big. about <laughs> twice the size of the tank is like so the tank okay, is twice the size of the tank about this big you're um, about this big yeah, you're, you're two foot tall i mean 
yeah you're you're, you're 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 bigger than you're bigger than tanker so you can't you can get a legging you can get like if you want to but that's it's about just it. facing <laughs> that works. It's in your head. <laughs> so you submerge your head into the thing and the orc Merges just starts stroking the top of yeah. your head as you as you're submerged into it not your pet <laughs> <stop> stroking my <laughs> head kind of dangerous territory right now <laughs> <laughs> All he's doing is submerging his head in, in alcohol. Stroking his puppet, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Anyway, um, continue. York is stroking his puppet with one hand and stroking <laughs> Tony with the other. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, when... no, so he's just, he's just rubbing... Oh, no, he's just touching Tony on the head and he's, he's laughing again. He, he looks back at Alfredo, looks around and he notices that he's surrounded... And he, he kind of a bit too close for comfort. You know, he's got Tony on his left, which he's finding to be quite a, quite a good company. Um, he looks over at front. And, uh, are you still performing this card trick or are you done? Um, I should buy that out. Like, with all this going on, he would have finished it up, up by now. Like, basically, it was just a simple, like, pick a card and he shuffled it a few times and then was like, is this your card? Okay. That, that type of trick. And so then, the, uh, obviously, you said, like, the patron was just enthralled. Yeah. So he did a couple, he did a few more times. And The, the human's just clapping away. He says the best <laughs> thing he's ever seen in his life. He looks up. Uh, yeah, he looks up and all of a sudden, after... Looking at this thing, he uh, after looking at this card trick. He looks up and now he sees this seven foot. Are you seven foot? Six foot. Six foot. This six foot, which is he's he's like five and a half. He's like five foot three. You see, he looks across and he sees this six foot elf just standing next to him, just kind of ghouling down with his hood up. Hood up, right? You've got yeah. your hood up, yeah, yeah. He's got yeah. his hood up, this nice kind of green, musty green hood up, kind of galling down at him. The the orc is is up, holding a puppet by the arm, um, with, with this tanker that's. He's twice aside this tanker. He he's so confused. He doesn't know what's going on. Um, yeah. Alfreda then then walks away from the bar and starts um starts bringing out all these these like little um complimentary snacks from the bar so like uh, like peanuts like your traditional bar snacks um she also pulls this like weird meat kind of like a like a bread but covered in meat so like a reverse sausage roll she kind of places it on the table and she she pulls out this like piece of paper that you can see is like sketched down this this makeshift menu she places it in front of um she places it in front of from um, and she she lets out. She goes, if anyone wants anything, there you go. It's fresh meats, fresh meats, fresh meats. And as you look over, you can see this fresh meat, which is obviously hollow with pastry. It's got flies flying around and landing on it, <laughs> flying away. It's, you know, it's, um, yeah. Uh, does, uh, Tony, can you roll a perception? A perception? Yes, please. You're the closest to it. Three. Three. No, four. <laughs> it's very edible. It's very, very edible. It's got flies, <laughs> but who cares? It's very edible. Oh, Thron, in his half drunk state, would just like grab a handful of whatever's closest and just throw it in his mouth. Did, did you say it was meat? It, it's it's a meat. It's whatever. like a sloppy, um, kind of like half cooked medium mm. um, meat that, that's kind of got bulges in it where you can see into it and it's this hollowed out pastry inside so it's it is it is basically a reverse sausage roll um, tony's vegetarian he's more interested in the flies <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> they're meat bro what <laughs> so, <laughs> them vegetarian flies <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> You actually, are you trying to eat the flies? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, yeah, he's, he's trying to he's, grab he's, the flies like this. Yeah, he's insectarian. He's a more one, and you can't get it. Okay, uh, uh, let me. What's going on then? Let me. Are they roll us? Uh, yeah, you catch one. You catch. You catch one. There you go, mate. Go on, Tana. Yeah. While that's happening, Rutherin puts his arm around Fron. Fron walks into the bar and goes, "Come on, dwarf, I'll buy you a drink." You're the sanest one here. 
<laughs> Alfredo slides <laughs> herself along in this, in this like, on this. You can see now it's a stall with wheels on it. She slides herself along to 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 greet to you guys. Who of whatever shit you've been serving us so far? <laughs> and, and she exclaims. She goes, "Okay." So she grabs another two tankers. She pulls it up. Obviously, as dirty as anything else. One's got half a handle and she she starts pouring this this tap of liquid like more liquidized like mud and she pours it all in places one in front of you pours one in places it in front of front so you both have two tankers in front of you the room will turn to roman and be like oh cheers lad and then down it <laughs> in <Okay>. one <laughs> Uh yeah, why not? Just do it. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, so you down the whole thing. You, you you're saying you've done the you've done the whole thing. Downed it. Yeah, gone. Jeez. Dean, this, this is the... does the exact same. <laughs> As a race or just done. after him? <laughs> oh, I just knocked it out. Done. Oh okay 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 okay. Um yeah, so you, you've you've downed your drinks. You place the tanker back on. Alfreda looks in amazement. You you've downed this drink in about three four seconds, and she looks down at Fron. She goes. That's a lot of drink for a small guy. She's a halfling herself, so you know you can't really take offence. It's not, you know. Uh, she slides back over to the other patrons, kind of ignoring you now. She looks over at the uh, at the, the meat plateau that she's put out, and there is a handful come out of it that she didn't see. There is a handful <laughs> scoop away from it, and she's looking around. Yeah, there's a handful scoop out of it, and she, and she starts looking around, and all she sees is this slow like trail of crumbs over to front <laughs> but she doesn't pay any attention to it she just kind of pulls out her makeshift notepad and starts writing down and then puts it back in her pocket <laughs> yeah um, Thron's just got a handful of food and it's just he turns to Rowan and says so where are you from then What? how do you find yourself in this quaint town and just is just scarf in this bit this handful of whatever you could grab off the bar been looking for someone my sister in fact but things haven't been going so well how about you what brings you here oh me me i'm just traveling about doing my thing doing my card tricks and yeah <laughs> What about you, little puppet man? Oh, I've come from a long way away. My puppet shop burned down, and I'm trying to find who did it. And I ended up here. <laughs> Got visions of this this orc just holding him up, <laughs> like yeah. he's just talking. Like yeah. at this at this hi, point, hi. The, the orc is still they still got a hold of your head as you're you're talking away to the left of him. He's He's, he's kind of holding you over the bar. You're talking to the left, and the orc is just still there. I'm not your peck, you <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so the orc looks at you, laughs, and just throws you across the table, like slides you across, and you end up at the end. So you're you're the left, you're to the um, left hand side of of um, Rowan. Okay, well, when he throws um, when he throws Tony, I will try and catch him along the okay. bar, stop him going off the other edge. Dex check. Whatever. Uh, Thank you, Mister. Should be Dex. So Dex uh, I mean that's the best. That's the best one though. Resist the spell. Yeah, I assume it will be Dex. Give us Dex check. <laughs> two. <A> two. <laughs> you try and put your hand out to get him, and as you as you do, he kind of hits your hand and starts spinning. As he starts spinning, he just about hits the end. Uh, give us a give us a uh, give us an athletics check, Tony, please. Six. A six. Uh, a okay. six. As you as you slide to the end in this in this in this more of a of a aggressive <laughs> current, you just slide and you just end up on the floor of the end of the table. This 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 punch out that from that tried to catch you just span you even further. You just hit the hit the ground. As you look up, you can, all you can see is Rowan just peering over you. Well, that's how tornadoes are made, my good sir. <laughs> Seeing that um, Tony's okay, from will just burst out laughing again. After you're laughing at my suffering, thank you. Say it again, uh, Tyler. Then Warren bends down, picks Tony up, and just puts him on a chair. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to be. I want to be on the table. 
you get some <laughs> off the chair starts hovering above the table <laughs> So bear in mind this 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 hovering that you can see as you look across he's 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 kind of it looks like he's hovering because his torso is is his main weight you can see and his and his legs are kind of dangling and 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 the 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 front of his feet are kind of just touching the ground so you can see he's he's still touching the ground but you can you can almost see that his torso is where his most his weight is and that's where he's being held instead of his legs so he's kind of kind of you know all of his weight is on his waist mm. instead of his in his uh on his feet. Feet are pointless. I say entities, <laughs> they're not entities. Um, limbs, I don't need them. <laughs> uh, and an an orc overhears this as you say limbs, you don't need them, and he he, he looks at himself and he he pulls out this massive almost daedric dagger he puts his hand on the on the table and you can see the carvings that were there before and he starts <laughs> and you can hear this bang 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 almost vibrating keep humming that tune and ripping up your vocal cords <laughs> <laughs> and he laughs and he does it louder that's it um, keep it. going maybe more i'm gonna rip up your so is this guy is it one of the patrons at the bar that's doing this the orc yeah so thron will go over to the office with the one on the left isn't it Yes, yes. Uh, he'll throw down uh, one gold and be like, I bet you a gold, you, you cut your finger. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> you're on. <laughs> oh, this is a different voice. He goes, <clears throat> he goes, you're on. <laughs> I've got a bet. And he goes, uh, one gold, yeah? Yeah, one gold. <laughs> uh, give us a D20, just standard D20. Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, he goes, Da -da, bang on his first one his <laughs> thumb just slices off and it pings at the wall and just hits the human on the cheek he just he turns around is this orc thumb is just on the ground on 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 the table now on the bar still emitting blood and he just has this thumb he just has this thumbless hand grasp just on the on on the on the table as he carries on he goes for the second hit and he just chops off his index finger and it <laughs> flings across another thing comes off he then lifts up his hand and just screams he, goes, <laughs> he pulls out he pulls out his sack and he just throws his gold onto the onto the table so yeah Thron, Thron will burst out laughing again be like that's the craziest thing i've i've seen and then um will cast uh cure wounds okay go on give me a little uh, uh let me just have double to, check do you have a, creature do you have a touch DC? regains a number of hit points equals 1d8 plus your spell casting ability modifier the spell has no effect on undead so yeah, it's just like a regular. I think he like so it should okay. heal his fingers. Uh, Tony discovers over just to nine nine point uh, ten points of healing. Ten points. Okay, so um, it doesn't it doesn't regenerate or anything. It just heals, right? Yeah, it just heals. Okay. It will just heal over the wound so, and stop so the bleeding. As he's screaming, he he pulls out this he pulls out this sack and he throws it across to you. What you can notice is as he throws out this gold to you, um, an extra four silver just come flying out of this of this sack. He gets the sack, puts it back, and as he looks back at his fingers that were bleeding off of the stumps that were, it's almost looks like it's been incinerated clothes. Like it's been coarse clothes and it stops bleeding. He looks around and he yeah, in amusement that the pain is still there, but he's it's numb. There's no pain. Pain. It's numb. He looks down and you, you, it's, it's hand. It's touch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would have like tapped him on the back. And it, are you still holding him? Will you just tap? Uh, it's visual. Uh, da, da, da. Let me just check. It's visual and somatic. So it's voice as well. So I would have said like, I would have said something okay. while I tapped it. And yeah, I'd still have my hand on his back. Just be. I'll just be saying like, you're <laughs> short a few fingers there. <laughs> Um, so he literally he turns around to you and he goes he goes well thank there buddy and, 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 he, and he he pulls you closer to the bar because you've 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 kind of been he as he turns around he's kind of pushed you backwards a bit so he pulls you backwards and he puts his hands down with an index finger gone and a thumb finger gone he pulls <laughs> out this daedric dagger again and just starts going again <laughs> this human on the right hand side almost covered in blood kind of shaking 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 and just passes out on the bar with this <laughs> with this orc's thumb just next to his eyeball he's just passed out with both his hands just drooping down this tankard that he had that he was it was in the middle of drinking he just slops over and he just pours it all over himself he's passed out on the side of this bar um, while, while giggling thron will jump off of uh jump jump away from the guy who's currently doing the knife thing <laughs> go pick up the the thumb and the finger 
and then just have them in his hand and then go back to watching the guy with the dagger. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. The, 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 um, yeah, that's fine. So you, you kind of clamber through, you take, you take the thumb and the finger. Um, you now have a thumb and a finger in your inventory if you want it. Uh, the orc is still, <laughs> and he's still chopping away. He, he's, he's flawless. He's so good at this, but yet he's cut off both his fingers. Uh, <laughs> he looks across, he sees his, his human compadre now passed out, but he's still doing it. He's still doing it. So, um, obviously, Thron, knowing that he's won, will take here the two gold from the pile and then push the rest back to him and be like, I've, I've, um, I'll just take what's mine. And then he goes, oh, and you drop something, and then I'll put the finger and the thumb down in front of him and then walk off back to Rowan. <laughs> So he looks down. He, so he looks slightly. Yes, yeah, so he looks down at you, and he and he, he pulls this Daedric dagger, and he slams it into the into the wood, and it kind of courses this crack into the wood of the, of the bar. <laughs> he then picks up his thumb and his finger, using his pinky and his two other his middle finger and his ring finger, and he picks it up, and he kind of <laughs> thanks, buddy, and he and he puts it into his pocket, and he takes his free silver, and he goes, no, keep it, and he slides it across, and he gives you this free silver. So I'm up one gold and three silver. That's I'll right. Be like, you go, I'll go like, Tony, Tony, would walk up to him. Tony would walk up to me. Tony would walk up to me. You'll hear ever so slightly just little gretching across the floor as his feet are dragging across the floor. He looks up to him in his pocket and he goes, I want it then. Pretty please. <laughs> the fingers. Give them to me. <laughs> Give me the fingers. Now. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> I think you know what's coming. Uh... Give me take. a uh, d- 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 deception check. Oh my god! It'd be persuasion, wouldn't it? Persuasion check. This persuasion. Sorry, yeah. persuasion. Persuasion. Thank you. I was looking at it, but I said deception instead. Yeah, yeah. Deception's like you're trying to trick someone. Eleven. Persuasion is like you're trying to persuade someone to do something. Eleven. So he he he, he just looks down at you. Uh, he just pushes you away. He just goes, <laughs> maybe next time, and he just pushes you away. <laughs> And he, he looks back <laughs> up and he's, he's got his hands like this. He, say it again. Tony would just give him the middle finger and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at you as he's missing two fingers and he goes, and he just, he clumbers over and he's got his hands over. He's, just, he's still got his tankard with one hand. He's not his predominant hand because now he's got no thumb. So he's just holding it like that. And he's just kind of tutting along. <laughs> <laughs>